Welcome back to part two of this um, video showing you how to create a piece of work in response to the artist Andy Butler. Um, and you should be at this point having added colourful elements. Now we want to use the black and white image to add some black and white pieces as well. So I select a piece of this image and I make sure that I'm on the right layer and I control C, control V and that gives me a new layer with that piece on it. I resize it, pressing shift to keep it in the right ratio. Double click on the layer, in a shadow. Check that I've got it in the right place and that my settings are the way I want them to be. So my shadow looks the way I want it to be. Click OK. And I have the first part that is black and white. Now, sometimes you might want to take away a whole section so it looks like the background. Okay, so in this instance, I was just checking I'm on the right layer. Take a part of the background, control C, control V, click on the arrow and move it over a piece of the head where I want it to be a hole. Double click on the layer again, in a shadow, change the shadow direction so you're happy with it. Adjust any settings that you want to always check, uncheck that global box. Okay, and that's that bit there. Okay, now I want to do something down the bottom. So making sure that I'm on the right layer, click, and getting the marquee tool, I choose this bit here, control C, control V, click on the arrow, and then I can move that wherever I like. And this time, instead of in a shadow, I'm going to go for in a glow. Okay, and what that's going to do is it's going to put a glow around the whole of the inside of that space rather than just a part of it. Okay, so it looks like a proper hole. Okay, and then next bit again, choosing another section, making sure I'm on the background layer. Control C, Control V. Move it to wherever I want it to be. And I think you're getting the idea now. Double click, in a shadow. Adjust my settings, the direction of the shadow. And bits and pieces, making sure you're happy. It's really important to play around with these to see what they do. So you make the shadow bigger and smaller and stretch further. OK, once you're happy, click OK. And then I think one more thing, just trying to make a kind of overlap in the centre of my face. So again, cutting a larger section out, Control C, Control V, and allowing me to play with it. I'm going to resize it a bit, move it up, down a bit, somewhere there. OK bit bigger till you're happy and then double click again in a shadow again change your settings so you're happy and yeah just checking that I haven't got too much shadow there Click OK when you're done. And that is really it. Obviously, you can add more or less, but that's the basic idea behind how to create a piece of work in the style of Andy Butler. So export as a JPEG. Make sure you're on maximum setting. Click OK, and then you can open it up. And there you go your finished piece. And that ends this tutorial. I hope you enjoy creating a piece of your own.